Susan, the double murder, what do we know about that? Well, we know a grand jury is looking into this, and they're especially interested in a silver SUV. We've told you about this before. Authorities believe that is linked to the double shooting, and it was seen in the, it was seen in the area of the shooting right after it happened. Well, police discovered this SUV a few weeks ago. It was parked in the garage of Aaron Hernandez's uncle in Bristol, Connecticut, and it had an, an inch of dust on it. Now, authorities are keeping a big secret what they found inside that. A judge ruling he's not going to let anyone know about it because prosecutors are very concerned that if the word gets out, it could jeopardize their investigation into this double shooting. We've also learned that there are informants involved, other witnesses involved in evidence, and we'll hear more about this when the grand jury work is done. Susan, uh, you were in court today. Hernandez's lawyers uh, seem frustrated that the murder uh, he is currently charged with isn't moving more quickly. What are they saying? Well, they're saying that they fully believe that Aaron Hernandez will be fully exonerated when this case is all over with. Remember, he's pleaded not guilty. They say he didn't do it. So, so how did Hernandez seem to you today uh, when you saw him? Well, for one thing, he looked differently. He once again, he was out of his prison uniform. We've seen him in uh, on a couple of occasions, but he also had on, he had street clothes on again that covered up most of his tattoos. And we saw him twice mouth to his fiance who was sitting in the back of the courtroom, the words, I love you, I love you. We saw that happen twice. In the meantime, the victim's family was also present in there. The victim's family, uh, the mother, including the mother of Odin Lloyd, and she was wiping away tears as she was listening to what happened in court today.